Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com, and I'm here with the new SPB mobile shell, or rather the SPB shell 3D for Nokia Symbian. So we have it on the Nokia N8 right now, and I'm just looking at the 3D uh, panels right now, and they're doing a little animation. So it's actually going through its little thing. I could interact with it right now if I wanted to, but let's just take a look and see what it does right now. There's some cool things going on. Those are text messages, I believe. There's some people floating around. See some cool reflections down below. And there's some birthdays. Anyway, this is our 3D interface, similar to uh, some of the other versions of SPB shell that we've seen before. You can spin it around, we got all sorts of panels. And uh, we can choose one just like that. And I can also swipe like this, similar to Android and also older versions of SPB mobile shell. So these are all our home screens. We have little dots down there that represent each one. There's the home one. We have some little shortcuts, uh, web browser, email, phone calls, and this is the app drawer. This is the custom version, so it's not the uh, native Symbian version. But it has all the programs there. And this we can go back. Interestingly, <laughs> if you press this button, we get the old the normal Symbian uh, program launcher. Let's go back here. Now if I tap and hold you get the uh, home screen customizing menu. We can add programs, we can add widgets, a folder, change the wallpaper, uh, go to settings. Let's see settings. So this, here's our thing. Auto range widgets weather, calendar panel, panel settings, and if I want to just close out of the uh, shell 3D, I can hit exit right there. So tap and hold. Let's look at some widgets. Here's our widget options. You got weather, phone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, blah, 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 birthdays, the usual. Let's do phone. So there's my phone widget. If I tap and hold, it turns into the uh, editing mode where I can move it around or trash it by holding it down there. And some of these widgets are resizable. So let's try this one. See, now I'm in edit mode and there's a little green arrow there. And that'll resize that widget. Let's see, this one is also resizable. Okay. Some of them just uh, take up the whole screen, like the weather, pictures, and clock. Here's the pictures panel, and it actually loads pictures from Flickr. It's not loading pictures that I took or that I loaded onto the device. So. Get out of edit mode with the checkbox. Let's go back into 3D. Now here's something cool. This little button down there lets me edit the panels. So say I want to, let's see, I can move that one down there. So that's going to be out, out of my circle. This one is a extra miscellaneous one, so I can put that back up there. I can put more up there. I can put like tons of them up there. And I can rearrange them. Say I want this one over there. And I can change the color. Maybe that one should be black. And let's see, 
I'll put the calendar back there. There we go. And then I hit this, and we're back to the 3D mode. And you can see my colors changed. So that's pretty cool. Um, everything else is pretty standard fare. All these icons go to the native programs. Calendar goes to the native calendar. Same with email. Whether you can just choose the different days. And pictures, we can just load different Flickr pictures. And there's your bookmarks to websites. But that's pretty much it for the SPP Shell 3D. Not a whole lot in uh, Shell 3D that is terribly useful since, you know, uh, Symbian Anna already is very Android-like with the same uh, multiple home screens kind of thing, and widgets as well. You do get a lot more customization and a few different widget options, but the regular Symbian widgets are not here either. Let's uh, exit out for a second. So now I'm going to exit Shell 3D, and here we are back on regular Symbian. And you see some of these widgets are not accessible from uh, Shell 3D. So there you have uh, SPB Shell 3D, available for $15 for Symbian. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now.